Hi everybody, welcome to True Wants. We're here, we try to help you make that decision if it's gonna change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that's right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also a bell that's beside that subscribe button and I rep recommend that you press it. The reason being, it is called the notification bell and what ends up happening is YouTube will send you one email notifying you that I just uploaded a brand new video. You will see in your inbox the picture and the title of the video and if you press on the picture, it acts like a shortcut and it takes you directly to the video. It's something I use and I enjoy and I wanna make sure that you guys know about it as well because I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive and I don't want you guys to miss out. So after you press that button and it turns gray, make sure to ring that bell and then you'll know exactly what will happen. All right, today is a day that I'm gonna share with you uh, a deal that I got and I'm gonna give you what I started doing. Last uh, Christmas, I was starting to see some fantastic deals from the actual companies that I used to purchase when I would go to Sephora or to Ulta. And then Ulta started changing. I started purchasing a lot more from Ulta when I started to live in the States. Uh, we don't have Ulta in Canada, and or at least we didn't when I was there. Correct me if I'm wrong, my Canadian girls, if anything's changed in reference to Ulta. We did get Target for like a little bit and then that disappeared too. Anyways, long story short, I'm here in the USA and I have access now to be able to uh, purchase directly from certain American companies, cosmetic companies that I really enjoy and I like their product lines. So last season, I realized it was the first time that I wasn't going to be that second level at Ulta. They started changing things around and I decided that instead of purchasing like I was at Ulta, which to me is fantastic. It's a great resource. They have drugstore brands. They have fantastic bundles. They have great promotions. You know, they're 21 days of beauty. This was the first one that I didn't end up buying on. I found there was a lot of repeats and stuff. So I've been putting the monies that I would normally spend on that onto getting a couple of extra boxes for the channel. But I then started putting myself on some email listings so that I would get notification when some of the brands that I really enjoy have their own deals. So Too Faced was one of the brands that I put my information down on with an email. And I did get a couple of things uh, in the past directly from them and I wasn't overly thrilled with how long things took and things like that. So when I saw that there was a 50% off deal and there were two items that were in there that were on my wants list, I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try again and see how good they are in reference to getting the orders out. They do take a little bit longer, but they're not, uh, I found I've always waited longer for ColourPop orders and I can't wait for ColourPop to be able to, to start uh, sending us some information on what's going on with ColourPop. But Too Faced was a, a product line that I do enjoy. I get fantastic deals on Too Faced uh, products. Uh, mainly on the HSN uh, channel network because they do a lot of bundles and they have a really good strong relationship with Too Faced. So it's been a while since I've bought something so I do have a couple of things that I want to show you that I got and I did get 50% off and it included the shipping. There was free shipping across the board so I could have bought one thing and got the free shipping and that was great too. They do put a little, uh, two little uh, products inside here. Uh, one is uh, Born This Way it is the concealer in marshmallow. So I'm happy to have that because I did do a video that I did get a fantastic deal on HSN for a concealer and a banana powder. And that one I got in the, the shade Snow. So I'd love the opportunity to be able to see the difference between those two. And the other one is Primed and Poreless. And it says erases pores instantly. I already own a Primed and Poreless, but this is supposed to be a new one. So I'll be able to compare the two. What I did get, and I want to share with you guys, is the uh, Comfort Matte Foundation in the Perfect Peach. I have had this on my wants list for a while, but this on its own is a $36 value. And for all the promotions that they do on HSN and all the others, this never goes on sale. So when this was 50% off, I jumped on it. So this I got in the shade Light Beige, which I'm going to show you guys. And this is what the product looks like here. The reviews on this product are fantastic. It's an oil-free 
14 hour oil controlling photo ready. It's a comfort matte foundation infused with peach and sweet fig milk. I am so excited to try this. And like I said, I ended up paying $18 for this and it is a $36 value. Then I couldn't believe that, and I know a lot of girls end up seeing these type of products at TJ Maxx. I tried going into TJ Maxx when you were the stores were open and I don't know, maybe it's the areas that they are versus the, I've been to two completely different areas and it it's, the products were literally, everyone looked open. They were not nicely stacked. Everything was like as if you were going through a rummage sale. I didn't feel comfortable getting anything. Hopefully things will change now with what's going on in the world. Maybe TJ Maxx, when they do open, will start putting things, because I did see a couple things in some plastic containers that the girl had to come and unlock and things like that. I think when it comes to makeup, you want to leave one out so that everyone can look, and if they want to touch, they can touch, but they should be put into a different area because it's cosmetics, and when things are opened like that, it just, for me, turned me off so much that I just said, I'm out of here, and I didn't end up getting anything. This one was the one that I had my eye on, and this is normally a $34 palette, and I got it for $17. And this is there from, I thought it was from, I thought it was the um, Tutti Frutti brand, but this is saying it is the Papaya Pop. It's an eyeshadow palette. And this is what uh, the outside of the, it looks here. And it is stunning, stunning, stunning. The colors in here, and the reason I thought it was the Tutti Frutti, it had that that mark here that is, the, the packaging is cut off on the corner. I just think it's absolutely, absolutely stunning. So this is what the uh, shades look like in here. And I will just do some swatching to show you guys, but what they wrote on the back here is just indulge in this fresh and juicy eyeshadow palette full of vibrant high intensity shades with extreme color payoff buttery soft textures they offer uh, ultimate pigment in one swipe color in a bold revolutionary formula you'll have it to feel to you have to feel it to believe it it's like the ultimate tropical vacation and once i tried my favorite palette from them which was the peach palette i've been sold on their formula uh, one of my palettes that I use all the time and I travel with comes also in a container very similar to this, but it's a square palette and it's the um, it's from the peach, uh, but it's all matte. Really, really good. So I'm going to take uh, some swatches and uh, once you feel these, you'll know what I'm talking about. The they're just it's a it feels like cream and and yet it's it's powder. It's like that silky smooth and that's how pretty the colors are. I am over the moon that I was able to get this and then I saw the, like when this was what I went for and then when I saw this palette I said wow you know normally you try to like buy extra things because you have to meet the free freight and I didn't have to meet the free freight and I still picked up two items one two three four so there's uh six so sorry one two three four five six so there's seven uh shades in here and like I said, I ended up getting this for $17. So really, really over the moon and so happy to have this in my arsenal now. Really, really pretty. So my suggestion is to always make sure that if you have a brand that you enjoy, put your email in. Wait, because sometimes with the email, when you put it in, they give an extra discount because you're someone new. So don't just put an email in to put an email in. If there's something of interest to you, put your email in. I had my email in for a while, so I wouldn't get anything on the first order, but I just, and I haven't received it yet, I just placed with a new company, and I waited and I put my email in. They sent down uh, a new person's discount, which I'll share with you during that video, and I'll share with you what I got from that company, but I'm really, really impressed with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch the um, this one so we can see the shade up close and personal, which is light beige. And I also have two of their foundations. One I got in natural beige, uh, which I didn't get it with this order. This is from uh, HSN. And then the other one I have is in light beige in this formula. And this is the Born This Way foundation. So I was curious to see what the differences were. So I thought maybe you would be as well. So I'm gonna swatch them and share with you guys that right now. So this, I literally just got, whoop, you know what I should, uh, I'm gonna remove our, uh, our swatches so that I have a free hand to put all the products on here and then I'm just going to um, wipe it down with a towel so that it's a dry surface. Okay, so this is the 
Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And that's what the product looks like here. And let's put it out a little bit. It feels nice and silky. And that's what the color looks like here. And then the next one that I'm going to put is in light beige. And this is the uh, Born This Way Foundation, which is a classic at this point. It is a fantastic. It comes also with a pump. I'm impressed that this comes with a pump too. And I'm going to put the light beige one beside it here. And the color looks a little bit different, which is what I wanted to see. Because sometimes when the formulas are different, you'll see what I mean. They look a little bit different. The uh, light beige one looks more neutral in the uh, one that I just received, which is the one that's the top one here. Every time I look in the mirror, it's in the camera, it's opposite. So this one here, and then the foundation is the lower one. And then I'm gonna show you the natural beige. And the reason I have these two colors is when I get uh, an opportunity on those promotions that they have on HSN, they are so fantastic. You end up getting like five products for like, I don't know, $50 or when these products on their own are normally like $30, $40. So if I have that opportunity and the other items are like a, a finishing spray or a primer, I end up usually getting two separate colors because I used to travel a lot and uh, my shade of my complexion would change based on if we were um, traveling a lot. So that's the natural beige. So they're pretty close. The lightest one looks like it is the new one that I received. The middle one is the Born This Way in light beige and the darkest one here is in natural beige. So just wanted to share that with you guys because I was curious myself to see and once I already own the products, I thought it would be smart to show you guys what the three differences look like here. All right, so that's everything that I received in my hints of what I would suggest to do if you are interested. And it's solely because my shopping habits changed when um, Sephora and Ulta started changing their levels. And then I started getting boxes and I started, you know, with BoxyCharm, it was one box. Now I'm getting like three boxes from them. You know, the Lux, the Base, the, base, the Premium. And with Ipsy now, I'm the Starter, the, the uh, Plus, as well as the Ultimate. And then I get my Allure and a couple of other little guys in between. So I really wasn't going to the Altas as much. I definitely moved from Sephora to Alta because the points programs was a lot better. And then I started seeing these other deals coming down from uh, Instagram and I said, I've got to go back and start looking at the companies because the companies are now offering deals that are even better than the deals that I was getting at Alta. So you just, you know, hopefully as I learn and as I, you know, start seeing how the shopping is here in the states because it's so different in canada as i'm learning i'm sharing that with you guys so that maybe you're new to start getting into cosmetics i just want to make sure that I have the opportunity with this platform to share with you what i'm doing and if any of that helps you save money in the all you know in the long run and then you're able to spend that money on other things i think it's a win-win all right all right so once again if you're enjoying my content please leave me a thumbs up. Supposedly it's really important on the YouTube platform. Uh, more people will get to meet me and my channel that like this type of content if what YouTube looks at is the thumbs up. All right. Once again, thank you so much to everyone that you take time out of your day to spend it with me here. I truly do appreciate it. But most importantly, I want everyone to continue to stay safe and stay well. And I'll see you all in my next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.